Axa UK was first interested in RPA around two years ago. Uh, back then we had two real challenges in our organisation. One around uh, efficiency, which is really a cost reduction play. And the second was around customer service. So we had some issues around uh, customer backlogs that was generating some complaints from our customers. So a number of our business leaders were interested at that time around how automation might solve both of those problems for us. About 18 months ago, we first got started on our journey. The easy part was making the choice around the, uh, the vendor, UiPath. The difficult bit for us was actually the, the model, the operating model that was required. So if I'm honest, we started badly. We parachuted in uh, some expensive consultants who over three months uh, helped us identify use cases, build up a stack of uh, those use cases, prioritize, but they selected the wrong things for us. So that was lesson number one. Be careful around uh, the, the partners that you choose. Problem number two was we put the development of the bots immediately in the hands of our business rather than involving IT which looking back was the wrong choice for us. It created issues around quality of the bots. They didn't work at the time. So we had to pause. We had to rethink what the operating model needed to be. Uh, and that's where I then got involved. And we established three different pillars around the operating model. One was process discovery. So working with our business units to identify real use cases do the design properly, re-engineer processes so you don't automate the crap, you automate the process as it should be in the future. We created a bot factory, so that's where development and testing happens. And the third critical bit was then a command and control center so we can maintain and ensure the robots are working uh, as they should. After establishing the, uh, the COE, uh, we were able then to start accelerating through delivery uh, and we've reached a point now where uh, we've been able to scale that model both in, in terms of resource. One of the challenges that we began to face though was scaling the technology. So it was able to cope with uh, the demand, the number of bots that we planned to introduce and this is where we needed to look at uh, Azure. In the UK we are a Microsoft shop already we are on a journey to move to public cloud in Azure so again it was a bit of a no-brainer for us to integrate UiPath Studio and Orchestrator with Azure uh, finding a way to then couple that and integrate that with our business applications that were in the data center which means using Express Route as well so at the moment it's proving really successful we've got a good operating model and the technology is working well for us as well so We've made good progress. I think what's next for AXA UK over the next two to three years is starting to move away or more into intelligent, cognitive-based automation. So we've been very successful on task-based, looking for simple processes that don't have many uh, clicks for our agents, don't require that uh, much complexity in terms of integrating with our backend in, in uh, applications. But now we're starting to see use cases that are looking at speech analytics, that are looking at computer vision. So we now need to look further into the Azure stack and we're doing that already. We've got some proof of concepts uh, that's coupling the Azure technology with the UiPath technology uh, to develop those, those use cases.